I got like an hour, hour and a half long like sit down that was just like broke down like how people view what you do. And I was like young and it was the most brutal talk ever. The good thing is that like after that things come a little bit easier because at least it's not as bad as that talk. He would say something like, that was today, like I was skating the park and I'd be like, oh, it's, it was awesome. Like I did this one trick I'm really psyched on. And he'd be like, see, if you talk about tricks that you did, you're excited about it. As a kid that has a crew and you stay in your crew, but if you're psyched on a trick that you did, you'd freely talk about it with your friends. You wouldn't get that there's other skateboarders who, you know, for whatever reason, maybe like intimidation or maybe just wanting to not like the new guy or whatever it is, they are looking for a reason to not like you. I didn't get that. And so he's like, yeah, these dudes are all gonna hate your guts and you're giving them a reason to. And if you just zip it, skate, you'll be fine. So like the next day I'm sitting there at Tampa and I'm like skating, I'm talking to somebody and I look over and I see Chief across the, the park and he looks right at me and just goes, I was just like, Damn. you can fully like talk to people. It's just don't say dumb shit. For the record, I never said like really dumb shit. I mean, I'm not gonna throw anybody out there, but utterly stupid shit has been said in the world of skateboarding to the wrong people, like, you know, people going up to Mark Gonzalez and saying the wrong thing to Mark Gonzalez. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I am not good by any means, but I definitely like riding. It's really similar to skating in like the primal way. It's just different enough that makes it like really cool to do both. What's gnarly about it is it's like land or die. I don't want to lie and act like I started the company because uh, cause I didn't do any work. Those dudes are awesome and the company is awesome. It's called Colt just everything about it, who they pick to be on the team, and how the team riders rock the stuff, and how good they are, and how they ride, and how original they are. It's sick, man. It's just a really cool-ass brand. This is super stupid. This sounds like it's so fake. This is so dumb. This one time I was skating a guardrail. They're probably the worst things to skate, by the way. That's not a ledge, it's not a flat bar, it's just a piece of shit. I was like going to grind it. For some reason, it flipped over as they do, and I caught the back of my knee on the guardrail and flipped over. My shoe flew off when like my leg like whipped, and I get up and I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like standing in the middle of the parking lot away from the guardrail, and I'm like looking around for my shoe, like, and then just a shoe just out of the air just hits me in the face. Swear to God, and I have witnesses that this happened. Somehow, the shoe like flung so high off my leg that I had enough time to get up and look around and it just so happened to come down in the same exact place to just smash me in the face. It sounds fake, but I lived it. And I don't really lie. If you're actually just cocky because you're just the fucking best skater ever and like, fuck yeah, I got that trick. Like, nobody likes a cocky dude. But if you start ripping at a contest and you're doing dumb shit, like you're fucking Hogan on your shirt, like jump up on the fucking, on the bleachers and start shaking the ropes, like then you're funny. Bastion was like, when he's like, you know, on fire and he's like ripping off his shirt, throwing it in the crowd, like going, sitting down, like I just F this contest up, sitting in the crowd, like watching other people skate the contest because he just killed it. And then he gets back up and he gets in there and he rips some more, like, and he's just like blowing kisses at the judges and stuff. I love it. Somebody's got to do it. It might as well be a dude that does it that awesome. And he's a cool ass dude. I don't know if you ever kicked it with Bastion, but he's awesome. Like he is, he is funny and cool. But when he starts getting on fire, it's an awesome show. Jeremy, like he made me feel like, yo, I, I could make it in skating. You know, he was like, got me hyped with that. It's like, yo man, you can have a piece of the pie. You know what I'm saying? I see he's driving an Aston Martin, and I was like, God damn, so maybe I could have a piece, you know, unless you took the whole fucking pie.